Hello, RC Flying Fun here, and today I'm going to detail uh, how I'm uh, installing a uh, 30 millimeter EDF into this uh, UMX F16 jet, and you can see the uh, EDF here. Um, you can get these on eBay, um, very cheap. I think this one here, I think it was about $34 total cost with the uh, with the shipping. It was free shipping. And you can see what I've done here to get this in here. You know, these come with, the, they have a lip right here on the edge that increases the diameter to 41 millimeters. So I just took a uh, die grinder with a uh, rotary file on it for uh, doing uh, wood shaping and uh, just basically very carefully um, trimmed this off of here. So it was this, so that's the same diameter as the housing and the housing is 32.4 millimeters in diameter. So you know these, uh, let me pull this out of here so I can show what I've done here. These little UMX planes come with a uh, 28 millimeter EDF in them stock. That's this guy right here. Okay, so to get the, uh, make the fuselage big enough in this area right here, I removed the pieces, uh, little plastic pieces in here that uh, hold the uh, stock EDF in with the uh, screws and I made this sanding tool right here with my 3D printer. It's sitting back here. Actually I've got another one made sitting on it right now. I love my printer. Um, allows me to do a lot of things I used to couldn't do. But all this is, I just uh, made this diameter slightly smaller than what this uh, sandpaper would be. Now this is 220 grit sandpaper I put on here. And basically all I did, I just put it in here like this and just worked it back and forth like that to machine just enough out of here to get this EDF to fit. And it worked really well. I've got this one, uh, this plane's all ready to go. Um, I've, all I'm gonna, now all I'm going to do to hold this in, I'm just going to put uh, some on one side down here, I'm gonna on the top side of it, I'm just gonna put a little uh, silicone glue. So if I do need to take it back out, it won't be any it won't be any big deal getting it back out. And I'm just gonna basically glue it in. And then if I need to take it apart, I won't put any on the other side. You know, you tape the bottom piece on, I'll just leave that the way it is. And then if I need to take it out, then I can get it out real easy. It won't rip anything or tear anything and uh, mess it up. So I'm kind of excited about this. This is a uh, the 10,000. They they sell these in several different um, configurations. This is the 10,000 kV model, and uh, it's got a. You can see it's got a nice big outrunner on here because these come with a little puny inrunner motor that's just really they're underpowered. I mean I I like flying it. I've got a. Um, hey boo that I've got, and I'm going to mod it the same way with this. But these planes are really really underpowered and I want to get some thrust out of it now on 2S this is supposed to put out um, 118 grams of thrust so that'll give me slightly over a 2 to 1 or almost 2 to 1 um, thrust to weight ratio so I should be able to get some vertical out of this thing now or before there was no way to do a loop you had to get it going downhill you know dive and then do a loop with it uh, straight up they won't hardly do a loop if you come you know if you fly straight wide open throttle but uh, just wanted to detail what I'm doing here um, I'm gonna start selling these so if anybody needs one of these tools right here to get this in here um, hit me up in the comments section and uh, I can hook you up um, probably be I mean the thing here I'll sell that uh, probably eight bucks for one and then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, cut your first piece of sandpaper and put it on there for you even for that price. Eight bucks plus shipping. So can't beat that. And then get you one of these. And uh, get here's my ESC down in here. It's a ZTW 18 amp spider um, ESC hooked. Uh, I've, there's been much talk about how to put these on the uh, stock receiver boards. And uh, get one of those and solder your board up and then put this in there and uh, you should be good to go. Now I'm also going to get some, uh, there's some new graphene batteries out that um, they're 65C and they'll do 130C in a burst. And I'm going to get some of those and put in this guy to fly on 2S. I think I can do 3S with it. I'll have to get with the manufacturer and see. I see one guy advertising them at 3S, but I don't want to burn the motor up in it. Um, trying that so I'll just fly it on 2s with them graphene batteries to start with and uh, should see a marked per 
performance increase with that. So if you have any questions, uh, again, hit me up in the comments box. I hope this helps everybody. Um, if you want to mod one of these and uh, do what I'm doing here with this. And uh, if you like that, give me a big thumbs up. And as always, uh, please subscribe. And until the next time, see ya. Bye.